Hi guys, welcome back to Don's Crafty Delights. Um, I'm Donna, as you already know. Um, right, a question that has been on my mind for a while is I have seen everybody, including myself, buying these from the works. Eight white craft pockets. Yep, they look like that. Now, I've seen people buying them. I've seen them do haul videos where I've seen them get these. And I don't think, as of yet, I've actually seen anyone doing anything with them. Apart from maybe put them in a journal as a little pocket type thing like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, and I thought I would come on and share it with you. Um, I'm going to make a Mother's Day sort of album, photo album, journal type thing. Um, it's only going to be tiny because of the actual size of the pockets, as you can see, they're not massive. Um, but I thought these would just make, you know, lovely little bits to go in inside a little mini album. Um, and then, you know, your mums can put or your nans or whoever you want to gift it to. But I thought it'd be a lovely idea for, you know, photos and things that are taken on Mother's Day when she gets her chocolates and her flowers and if you will remember to send them that is. Um, just to, you know, remember. So, um, what I'm actually going to do is go through a tutorial of what I'm doing. Um, I've not done one of these before so this is the first time but I thought I would just come on and let you kind of join in and follow me along so we'll keep our fingers crossed you know mistakes may be made along the way so right what I'm gonna get stuck in and do to begin with is this is a pocket I have already decorated it started off plain simple like so okay I have distressed it around the edges like that because I didn't want white I wanted black yeah you know me so this is the pocket okay I have covered that side of it I've covered the flap on the top and there is a magnet on the top there to hold the flap down okay and then inside there is a photo mat or a journaling card whatever you wish it to be and then that folds back over there and then on the other side I've placed another little pocket across the bottom here and then there is another oh, another photo mat this slides nicely in there and I've also put a tag in there just for journaling on and these will be all the way through the book um, I decided to go with six of these in the book um, so yeah if you want to stick with me on this tutorial and um, well I wouldn't really say it was a tutorial because I've not made one of these before yet so you know you're just kind of following me along and seeing what I do and you know if I can help you out in any way along the way then please ask questions and I'll do my best to help you um, right so what I'm going to do first is hidden hinge um, now for you ladies that are used to making albums you will know how these go already um, but thank you to all my new subbies and I know a lot of my new subbies um, are quite new to the crafting thing so I will go through that quickly on how to do your hidden hinge um, so what I'm actually going to do is take my scoreboard uh, let's move that down a little bit just so you can see I have a piece of card here okay and it measures um, right it's three and a half inches wide 
okay and I know that it's 11 and a half inches long that is what we're going to need for six place it in your board so you're going across the 11 and a half inch side taking your scorer and what we're going to do is first you're going to mark it at one inch so you want to score it across there at one inch okay then we're going to go every half inch across the page so every half inch gap go across the page just keep going six and a half seven seven and a half eight eight and a half nine nine and a half ten ten and a half now I'm going to stop at ten and a half which you want to do as well because you need another one inch gap at this end okay so your card is eleven and a half so the last half inch mark you need to be making is at ten and a half okay so you should have something that looks like that okay you can see that you see all the lines on there I'm sorry it's on black but that's what's going in my album and then what we're going to do with this is I'm actually going to fold up the first piece just make sure that's straight across there and I'm actually going to take a bone folder and crease that nicely across there okay and then the second line is also going in the same direction so you want to fold that up as well and then on the next line you want to be folding that back on yourself like so okay so you're folding it back over the one that you've just done okay so you'll have that and now you have something it looks a bit like that okay and then you want to be folding that up again okay so you have that you have like a mounting fold okay and then this will be stuck together so your page could go onto there and then you want to make sure that you have this gap either side of this bit that sticks up to put your page on and then you've got your gap in between so you can embellish so you just go all the way along folding like so once, once you've done this a few times you will get um, get used to how it folds and it doesn't matter if you accidentally fold one the wrong way you can just turn it back and fold it again Okay, and then we get to the last one. Okay, so you should have something that looks a bit like that. And then what we're going to do quickly is just run all the way along it. And I like to give these creases a good burnish across there. So they're all nice and stuck in firmly like so and then you can fold them the other way as well and just give them a good crease this is just to make sure that when it's all stuck together that they do actually fold either way or you can wait until it's stuck together um, now the one thing that um, 90% of ladies I would say roughly 75 to 90% of ladies will do at this point is get out your score tape me personally I don't use it anymore 
um, I have now made enough of these albums to know that it is not strong enough for an album to last a long time um, so therefore I use glue on mine and I have never had a problem with it coming apart since I've been using glue um, with the score tape I found that you can have your whole album stuck together your pockets your layers and everything done in your album and then when you pick it up it's starting to come away from its binding or the pages are coming off the binding um, so for that reason alone I do not use score tape anymore on my albums um, I prefer to use glue but it is entirely up to you okay you use whatever you are happy with using so all I do with mine is I turn it over that way and I take my glue that's the glue that I use the high tech glue and then all I do is in between these folds here okay so these bits here these need to be stuck together okay so all I'm going to do is run a bit of glue just across there okay and then I just fold that back on there get my bone folder and give that a good push down like so now I know personally that's not going anywhere okay and then you can fold that back that way and make sure it's stuck properly okay so you have that that is now stuck together this piece here that is now stuck together and that is not coming apart for love nor money okay so just go all the way along doing that turn that over and give it a good push down and if you don't want to get messy all right just let me grab a baby wipe always keep a baby wipe to hand um, if I can get one out of the packet that is sorry please bear with me Oh, that's it. It will come out eventually, I say. Right. Um, in case of any little glue spillages, just get a baby wipe, wipe it across. Okay. So then that'll be the second one stuck on there. Like so. And then you just go all the way along. like so give it a good push down and then just wipe any glue off the edges like so I prefer to do this type of um, hinge when I'm working on albums um, it's quick it's easy it's strong because it's doubled up um, and I think it just looks very neat, tidy and professional when you've done it um, and as I said now I've started using the glue I don't have the problem anymore of it falling apart on me or coming off where the tape should be sticking it down and um, if you're not so reliable and sure on what you're doing with your hinges and stuff then you know by all means use your score tape as I said it is your preference it is entirely up to you what you use to stick your bits down there right this is just for my personal use my own peace of mind but I will use this so there you have it was very quick and easy as you can see didn't have to mess around cutting tape and taking all the back off and there you have it okay so what you're going to do is put that to one side for a second 
to let that dry off um, and then what we're going to do is move on to the cover for the folder so let's get the glue off of there so what I'm going to use for the cover is if I can find it sorry bear with me a second Right, I have got a piece of a free paper, black card, that I will use for my cover. And also some chipboard. Um, I'm actually using what is called grey board, which is the same as chipboard. It's very hard. Um, this is uh, one mil thick, I think. Bear with me. Yep. Um, it's quite thick, sturdy. I can't break that. You need a knife to cut through it. Um, so it will last for ages. So I have done a front and a back cover, which is cut at five and a half by four. Okay, you will need two of them. Okay, and then I have done a bit for the spine, which is three and a half by four okay now this works out a little bit bigger either side than this I have done that for a reason um, just simply because I wanted a little bit of gap at the top and the bottom of this one okay personal preference you can cut it so it's exactly the same size as your hinge if you prefer so what we're going to do with these, I'm um, not too sure if you can see, there is a line all the way down this edge and all I've done was I took my ruler, um, not too sure how wide it is, it's about an inch and a half wide and I just lined that up all the way along there with the edge and just put a line so I know that I've got enough on this edge to pull over and stick down. So what I'm going to do is take my pieces and find out roughly where I want them to go and let's make sure that I have this actually round the right way. That should be, yep, yeah. so that will be around that way. Always double check before you glue down please ladies because you know, once you've stuck down, especially if you're using glue the same as me, you're not getting it up again, okay? Now, sticking this down as well, you want to make sure that you have about an eighth of an inch gap in between each piece, okay? Um, if you can't judge it properly, it's just so that it allows you to be able to manoeuvre it without it getting stuck on that piece. Um, if you can't eyeball an eighth of an inch, then take another scrap piece of the card that you have and when you stick it down, you just place that in between one and the other and then just push it up to that. Okay, so then it leaves you with that gap. Right, so I'm just making sure that I have enough either end just to be able to pull around and fold onto there. So then I'm going to get this piece and glue the back. If I was making a larger album, I would be using Tyvek. Um, it is an unbreakable material, paper, whatever you want to call it, um, that you would pop between your hinges um, just to make sure that it doesn't split but this is only a tiny little album and I personally really really don't think it needs it. So I'm just going to place that one there and then using my bone folder I'm just going to give it a really good push down like that just to make sure that glue underneath is spread out nicely and it's not going anywhere. Okay and then I'm going to take this side Plenty of glue on there, make sure you get right up to the edges. 
I love gluing, I love getting in a complete and utter mess. Nothing better than getting all sticky. Right, so I like to get my spare piece, put that up against the edge there, and then because I've got my line underneath, I can see exactly where that's going to go on that straight line there. And then just push that up a tiny bit so it's all level with that one, like so. There we go. And then again, just give that a really, really good push down. Sorry if you can hear the banging while I'm doing that. It's actually my desk banging against the, the wall there. Okay, so that's that side. And then now for this side. And again, just taking this piece, just hold that flush against the edge of there, and then place that on there, checking where the line is across the bottom. Let's stick that round the other way, actually. that a really good push down on there just to make sure that glue spreads and it's coming out of there like so okay right so then what we're going to do now is using my ruler I'm going to go along that edge there um, because I don't need all this extra here so just putting that against there like so and then across there like so and then uh, I'm just going to take the scissors cut off that excess card up there you can measure this out for yourself and cut it before you stick the card down if you wish to uh, but I've just always done it that way like so okay um, and then what I'm going to do very very quickly is taking something that you can score lines with um, mine normally being the end of me bone folder bit that's sharp enough there just to score a line and what I tend to do is just holding down the card like so I will just run this around the edges like so just so it helps you to give it that bit of movement when you need to fold it up around there and then also what I'm going to do quickly is take off these corners um, when you take off these corners you need to make sure you leave about an eighth of an inch on the edge there um, because otherwise you're going to see the corner of the card sticking out um, so you just literally cut across the edge like that but if you can see that on there I've left just that um, like eighth of an inch there just so you can't you won't be able to see the card on the corners when you come to tuck that round and over. Uh, that's all I do, is cut the corners like so. And then using my bone folder, I will hold down firmly the chipboard on top and then just running your bone folder underneath just to encourage that card gently to come up over the top like so okay uh, again 
just run along the edges very carefully so you don't split the card and I'll just go along all that edge like so just to encourage that paper to come up and fold over the top and do that on all four sides and the last side uh, just encouraging it to come up gently and fold over there we go now I don't fold that all the way over because I will be pulling that over into place as I do it um, it is your choice as well if you wish to cut down here that again is entirely up to you I don't personally bother um, because I think it just gives it a nicer finish across there for when you want to cover the inside okay um, so what I'm going to do now is taking my glue again okay I know a lot of you ladies will be going oh my god don't do that use score tape you can put your score tape along there if you wish to and a piece across there personal choice I don't again I've had bad experience of albums coming apart when I've used score tape so I run my glue all the way along the edge there make sure you get it right up on the edges I would rather make a mess with glue and then wipe it off with the baby wipe afterwards so that's what I'm going to do for that when you've got your glue all the way along there I will pull up from the middle not from the edge taking it from the middle and just push that over like so and make sure you go pull it over as far as you can all the way up to the edge like so and then go all the way along the edge from that side okay and then giving that a good smooth out using your bone folder okay just run it along the edge see there's a bit of glue there it's making a mess and you just wipe it off okay and then I will twist it round and I will go all the way along this edge here and there we go okay and then just take the baby wipe give it a wipe like that it takes all the glue off and hey presto okay so then I'm going to turn around and do this side again getting right in that crease there where the chipboard is across there right up on the edges and plenty in the middle and again starting in the middle coming up and then just pushing that over towards the edge okay and it will kind of go on its own because you put the score mark and helped it to fold over to begin with like so and then just give that a good push down with your bone folder just to make sure that it is stuck properly and taking the glue off the edges like so okay and then come up this side give that a good push down that side as well like so and then you can run that along the edges like so as well just to make sure that's nice and flat and there we go and then I'm just going to do the sides what I'm going to do first because you left that eighth of an inch gap on the corners there all I'm going to do is use my bone folder to tuck that round and push it down into that corner like so and I'll do that 
on all four corners before I actually glue it. Push down and just take that and push that excess piece of paper around on the corner like so. And then again glue right up in that gap there. across there and again just taking my thumbs in the middle of the piece of card pushing it over like so and then out towards the edges like so and again just give it a good push down so it's not coming out and it's well and truly stuck down like so if you take your time over doing this ladies you know you will get a better professional look and then turn it around um, obviously I'm kind of rushing this because of the time of the videos but um, you know, hopefully you will be able to do a better job than I'm doing because you'll have the time to take over it and make sure it looks nice and presentable. There we go. Again, use my bone folder. Make sure that has a really good push down there. Like so. Just make sure you line up there edges like so and then just give that a wipe off so there's no glue spillages on there okay so you should have that okay your corners are all nicely wrapped and tucked in they're all nicely squared off all around the edges Okay, like so. And then what I'm going to do is using my bone folder where the gaps are in this in between this card, all I'm going to do is very carefully just run my bone folder across there, okay, like so. So you're giving that a little crease. there like so okay so then that will allow you to very carefully and if you hold down the center piece okay take your hand under this and just bring it up and down very gently like that let the creases work where they need to okay don't just whack it straight up and force the paper to where you want it to go because the likeliness is it's going to split okay so just gently just take the edge let it work up and down like so okay and it will go to the center eventually without you forcing it and without you splitting the paper on the back okay lovely done like so right then what you need to do is stick in your hinges okay so what I'm actually going to do is because I wanted a gap at the top and at the bottom um, as you can see when this is stuck in my pages are not going to go to the top and the bottom like they normally do I wanted to try something a little bit different and I wanted to leave a gap at the top and the bottom okay um, simply because I know making this for my mum she likes to leave them laid down so you can see the decoration on the front of the covers 
um, and she doesn't have it standing up so much um, I don't know why that's just the way she displays them bless her but so all we're going to do with this what I like to do to make sure I've got it in the right place I am going to glue from this piece here I'm going to leave this side I'm going to glue from there to there okay leaving the two flaps on either side so I'm taking my glue I hope you can see what I'm doing okay re gluing this and again I just go across bit by bit making sure there's plenty of glue in the gaps and the folds and you know along the edges where it needs to be um, yes I'm not sparing with the glue I don't wish to be sparing with the glue as I said you want to make an album that's going to stay together and it's going to last um, and I've not yet well I think I've made one album that's not falling apart with um, score tape but um, yeah I still wasn't very happy with the results on that um, so just lining that up carefully and if that's in place correctly then you should be able to lay that down flat and these two flaps here should come in tow with the creases on the side there and then all I do taking my bone folder I just run it up and down making sure that's pushed in properly fold your flaps back out the way like so okay giving that a really good push down like so and if you prefer you can just take your finger the amount of times I've done this used my fingers to do this and then ended up with a blister on my fingers where I've pushed it down so hard and uh, just make sure that's all stuck down there properly like so and then again taking me trusty damp cloth for your baby wipe you just literally go along your edges I mean this glue dries clear anyway guys so you know don't stress too much um, but obviously you don't want heaps and heaps of it sticking out from the sides sorry and I am a bit particular I just want to make sure that there's none actually sticking out from there and then do the same again with this side just to make sure that there is no glue poking out from there so you should have what looks like that okay so you've got all your folds to place your pages in you've got your gaps in between and then you've got a flap this side and you've got a flap that side okay so then all I'm going to do now is get my bone folder again and where this crease meets the page underneath I'm just going to push that gently across there just to make sure that the folds and the creases of your hinge are in the right place okay and then taking my glue just lift that flat back and placing glue all around the edges of there and into that gap the fold where the page is and then just simply lay it down and give it a push down like so okay again wipe off any excess because glue makes a mess everywhere as we all know I can't wear false nails either very often while I'm doing um, 
journals and albums you just get so much stuck up your nails and you know, constantly washing them and scraping the paint off the top of them that I don't feel that it's worth it really so I personally don't bother so there you go okay and then once you stuck that down again just run your bone folder very gently across there squidge out any glue if it needs to come out and again same that side there we go see a tiny little bit of glue there right, it's been pushed down into the seams okay and then again just place your finger on the edge there like so okay and then just tempt that to come up like that okay again don't force it okay it will go eventually just sort of coax it to go okay just very gently easing it into place where it should be okay just stretching the fibers in the paper okay so there you have the basis to your mini album okay right so i'm going to leave you with that for today guys um thanks for joining me um please do come back if you found this interesting um, and i hope it give you a bit of uh, you know inspiration and you may find yourself joining along and doing one with me um lovely idea for mother's day as i said they're only tiny you know so it shouldn't take long to put together at all um but yeah thanks for joining me guys and i hope you come and join me back in part two so love to you all Take care. Bye for now.